Now, let's go through uh, what is considered the progressive curriculum. Now, the first thing is the progressive emphasizes the study of natural and social science. Teachers should introduce students to new scientific, technological and social developments to extend the personal experience of learners. Learning should be related to present community life, believing that people learn best from what they consider most relevant to their lives. The curriculum should center on the experiences, interest and the ability of the student. So once again, um, it resonates with the earlier notion that that knowledge is for the present and is of the present and is by the present collaborative uh, participation by the learners that knowledge is created. Now the next notion on in the curriculum uh, pertaining uh, progressivism, teachers should plan lessons that arouse curiosity and push students towards higher order thinking and knowledge construction. For example, in addition, of, in addition to reading textbooks, students must learn by doing such uh, field trips where they could interact with nature and society. So, I mean, this is another uh, main idea that talks about students being part of knowledge creation rather than passive recipient. So you do not consume knowledge, you participate in construction of knowledge. Students are encouraged to interact with one another to develop uh, social virtues such as cooperation, tolerance of different points of view. This is a very major uh, calling from Dewey because Dewey believed that in order for democracy to sustain, education needs to be done in a meaningful way where people learn, the learn to cooperate and respect and tolerate and appreciate diversity within the society. Teachers should not be confined to focusing on discrete discipline at a time, but should introduce lessons that combine several different subjects. Progressive looked at, at knowledge as a whole. They wanted to see how things are interrelated. I mean, there is no, in, in real life, problems cannot be compartmentalized or this is a historical problem. Because one would say, oh no, this is actually partly due to political reasons. And then one will say, no, 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 this is due to economical reasons. So problems were actually interrelated. And Dewey felt it was best if content or knowledge were delivered in this integrated fashion rather than in isolation. Students are to be exposed to a more democratic curriculum that recognizes accomplishment of all citizens regardless of race, culture, background, gender and additions. Now, once again, as I, we have mentioned it earlier, that Dewey being the proponent of, uh, of progressivism, one of his cornerstones, don't forget, historically, it was when America was being formed. The, it was a multicultural pot where everybody was coming in from all Europe, Asia and wherever you may come from and do we really thought that in order for, for a country or for a nation state to be developed, education played a key role and education takes place in the classroom. So what happens in the classroom will happen elsewhere. So he wanted to emphasize good citizenship in the classroom as, as part of a major progressive approach towards education. Uh, by including instruction in industrial arts and home economics, progressives strive to make schooling more both interesting and useful. Ideally, the home, workplace and schoolhouse blends to get, blend together to generate a continuous fulfilling learning experience of life. See, do we, one of uh, the progressive movement's point of view was not to see learning, working and home as three different entities. It should be integrated as one. Students should seamlessly uh, participate in home life, move into an academic life and participate in the corporate and industrial life seamlessly not knowing one uh, led to, an, one should seamlessly introduce, to the, introduce the other. For example, in, in today's context, one would say, oh, this is what I do at home. I would behave in a particular way at home. Uh, I participate 
I, I engage society differently at home. I get what I want, you know, I'm the only child, blah, blah, blah. This is how I engage in the school, you know, I, I, I could be a minority in a majority, different in a majority system. I could be a, a, a handicap in a normal system. I could be different and the school system treated me differently. And then suddenly I moved on to an industrial or workplace environment and I saw things differently. Or oh, these things I didn't cover in school and these things I covered it. I should learn in my workplace. So what do you was talking about? That's not how you, you, you organize the entire learning experience. The learning experience of the school was, a trans, uh, was the transition point between home life and work life. So you, you start off by, you start the lesson where the students at. So you incorporate many of the things that students experience at home and as part of the starting point. And you don't end without thinking about what the students do after education. You incorporate work life into the system. So the schooling system is, is if you look at it as a, as a three cell segment, you have home life and you have industrial life or work life at the end, and the school falls right in the middle, right? Now, you have to extrapolate the school life into two points. You extrapolate on the right and to the left. So you incorporate things from home and you incorporate things from work and you make it seamless, you make a seamless uh, experience for the student. Finally, it is the progressive uh, dream that the dull, seemingly irrelevant classroom exercise that so many adults recall from childhood would someday be a thing of the past. Students solve problems that are uh, students solve problems in the classroom that are similar to those that are encountered in outside the school. They solve problems that are related to their home, society, and etc. And they also solve problems that are industrial and relevant to their work life within the classroom setting. And the school will be pragmatic, is added on current present reality. And that's what progressivists hope. And, ed and most importantly, progressive uh, believe is to use education as a tool to promote democracy in, in nation building.